guys, it's Sarah from Sincerely Sarah D, and I'm going to talk about how to apply wax to chalk paint. And if you want to see how to apply chalk paint, Angela will walk you through the steps and we'll give you the link to that video in the post. So first, the first step is clear wax. Even if you're going to be applying dark wax, you need to apply clear wax first. So you just take your brush, you just get some on there. Wax is kind of like lotion, less is more, like when you apply lotion to your hands. So I'm just going to apply a coat of wax on this whole entire piece. And I usually, I usually apply two coats to every piece that I do. And this piece is so small and so it's going to go pretty fast. But you just apply your wax to the top and the sides. And then we are good to go. And I also am going to apply dark wax. And like I said before, I can't tell you too many times, always apply clear wax before you do the dark wax. And so with this, use a lint-free cloth. And I just cut up some of my husband's old t-shirts for this. And um, a lot on a lot of my pieces, I just apply the dark wax to the corners, which you can apply all around, but it really will give an aged look to your piece. You definitely don't have to apply dark wax, but if you like this look, it's a good thing to do. So you just go ahead and apply it wherever you want. Rub it in. And the cool thing is since I applied the clear wax first, if I made a mistake, I can go back to the clear wax and actually erase away if I, if I feel like there's too much dark wax can actually erase some of the dark wax. All right, so once you have applied the clear wax and the dark wax if you wanted to, um, use your lint-free cloth and just buff the entire piece. And this just kind of gets rid of the chunky pieces of wax. And you do have to be careful. I don't want, I did not want dark wax on the top, so I need to find a clean piece to buff out my top. And um, it also just gives it kind of a nice sheen. Now you uh, you can also distress distress your piece with um, I just have a sand block here, and you just take your sand paper, and I usually just do the corners. And you always um, you always use this you always sand it after you've done the wax, and this way kind of brush it off and then you have your distressed piece and it's kind of hard to see but if this was dark colored wood you'd be able to see the edges a lot more but you can sand as much or as little as you like.